Dominican Republic's central cordillera, nestled amongst emerald pines and cascading waterfalls, lies Jarabacoa, a mountain town whispering tales of adventure and breathtaking beauty. Here, where the cool breeze dances with sunlight filtering through leaves, and the Yak del North River serenades with its gurgling melody, dwells the legendary Jamaica de Dios restaurant. Its story begins long ago, woven into the tapestry of Jarabacoa's own evolution. A young local couple, Miguel and Elena, dreamt of a place where the soul could soar as high as the mountain peaks. They envisioned a haven where the bounty of the land would mingle with the warmth of Dominican hospitality, where every bite would be a whispered ode to their beloved country. In 1980, their dream materialized in the form of Jamaca de Dios, a rustic wooden structure perched on a hillside, overlooking the valley like a benevolent bird guarding its nest. From the outset, Jamaca de Dios captivated hearts. Peace everybody, happy Saturday. I hope everyone is having a great day. So I'm here at a restaurant in Jarabacoa called La Maca de Dios. And it rotates, right? So it rotates, it rotates, it rotates. And my mom is freaking out because we were somewhere over there before and now we're here in front of this view and she is freaking out. <laughs> In the waning days of my Dominican adventure, I orchestrated a grand finale and jubilant gathering of family and friends at the venerable Jamaica de Dios restaurant. This celebration was not just a farewell to the vibrant Dominican Republic, but a culmination of the myriad experiences that had woven together to create a tapestry of unforgettable memories. Seated at the festively adorned table were not just faces, but companions who had shared in the richness of my journey. The restaurant, with its legendary status, seemed the fitting stage for our final act. The menu at Jamaica de Dios unfolded like a culinary love letter to the Dominican Republic. We savored the complexities of mafongo, the hearty simplicity of mango, and the exquisite flavors of seafood that spoke of the country's coastal heritage. Each bite was a nod to the cultural mosaic we had immersed ourselves in, where the flavors of Dominican cuisine mirrored the diversity of our experiences. Beside me were my cherished companions, my mom and family members, whose laughter had echoed through the colonial streets of Santo Domingo, resonated across the dunes of Las Dunas de las Calderas, and harmonized with the cultural beats of the salt mine of Bani. As we toasted to success, both personal and collective, the clinking of glasses reverberated with the triumph of completing a marathon that had tested not only physical endurance, but also served as a metaphor for the resilience and determination acquired during our Dominican escapade. As the night embraced us with its warmth, I couldn't help but marvel at the collective beauty of our experience. From the architectural wonders of the colonial city to the vast, mesmerizing landscapes of Las Tunas de los Calderas and the ancient traditions preserved in the salt mine of Bani, each encounter had left an indelible mark on our hearts. I knew that while the trip had concluded, the resonance of the Dominican Republic would forever dance in our memories. It was not just a dinner. It was a symphony of culture, a celebration of triumphs, and a testament to the enduring bonds created on this remarkable journey. That is delicious, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers.